The stock wheel fitment for the E9X M3 with 18-inch 219M or 260M wheels is 8.5J ET29 in the front and 9.5J ET23 in the rear. The fitment is the same with the stock 19-inch 220M wheels. And for the 19-inch 359M wheels, the fitment is 9J ET31 in the front and 10J ET25 in the rear. I got my M3 with the 260M wheels, and I think the combination of the sportiness of the M suspension and the tire size is perfect for the roads in Taiwan because the average service quality is pretty poor. Besides, Style 260M stands out pretty much among the E90 3 Series, so I decided to keep this set of wheels on the car. However, the tucked setting just makes the M3 sedan looks less cool. My solution is to use wheel spacers to lower the offset, or in other words, to decrease the ET value to achieve a flush setting. From what I found on the internet, the commonly recommended spacer thickness are 15mm in the front and 10mm in the rear. After looking at several photos, I chose 17.5mm for the front and 10mm for the rear. And again, I ordered from ECS Tuning because they have complete sets of wheel spacer and matching bolts. Without the need of guessing and buying correct bolts separately, this is a lot easier for us. The spacer kit feel like worthy of the money because they are pretty bulky. The surface is finished with matte black paint and engraved with logo and model numbers. I could feel the machining quality with my hands and I believe they will be satisfying. And here are the included bolts. The lengths are indeed longer than the original one. Be sure not to mix them when you are installing the two different sets of spacers. I used buy and ship to forward the parcel this time. However, I think the shipping fee was higher than expected. The package weighed 9 pounds, so I paid like 1400 NT dollars for these metal parts. Well, I will think twice before using it next time. Everything is ready, let's get started right away. These are the tools I used for the installation. A simple jack, a breaker bar, a copper brush, and a torque wrench that can do 120 Nm. I used the copper brush to clean the hub surfaces to ensure a secure installation. The specified wheel tightening torque for the E9X M3 is 120 Nm. I'll just stick with this one. The rear left wheel is done. How does it look? I'm surprised by how 10mm can make this change. And your eyes does a better job telling you the difference. You must see the result with your own eyes. Don't rely solely on cameras. Satisfied with the rear left wheel, let's move on to the front left. The procedure is the same. The style 260M ring is made by the Italian wheel maker Cromodora so you will find a marking of Italy on it. 
T260M is for the base model in non-North American market. The style 219M ring, which is for the base model in the North American market, has the exact same shape and fitment, but it is made by BBS and you can tell by the marking on it. Weight-wise, the 260M is slightly lighter than the 219M. Just take a look at the bolts for the 17.5mm spacers. What a big difference! To ensure a secure installation of the wheels, do remember to use correct bolts. At this moment, I was feeling that 17.5mm is too much for the front. It looked like a poke fitment to me. Maybe I just need some more time to get used to it. Let's see what it looks like on the ground. Well, maybe this is the kind of flush for some of you. I hope this is a helpful visualization for those who are considering more than 15mm for the front wheels. Looking from the rear, well, not too weird. So let's continue and see what it turns out at the end. Alright, that's all four wheels done. Now I'm convinced that the photos on the internet are just for reference. We really need to see the fitment with our own eyes to find the perfect match. And there's one important item we have to check before hitting the road. Will the tires rub the inner wheel arches or not? When I fully turned the front wheels to one side, there's barely a space for my index finger between the tire and the inner wheel arch. Perhaps less than 5mm gap. Same situation for the other side. I drove in the parking lot a little bit, no noise discovered at this moment. However, this does not guarantee the case when the suspension has traveled to its limit. So I will continue this fitment until I realize something wrong. In that case, I will conclude that 15mm may be the limit for the front spacers. Let me summarize the fitment for you. 17.5mm spacers for the front and 10mm for the rear. Please note that I'm on stock suspensions and now the rear end looks even more dropped. To make the car look more balanced, perhaps I can lower the front suspension and make another video about it. So that's all for the DIY installation of ECS tuning wheel spacers to my E90 M3. Thank you for visiting fine cars and good people. I enjoyed this DIY a lot and I hope this data can help you in some way. You are very welcome to leave a comment below or share with everyone your favorite settings. See you in next video. I worked in a windy weather. The strong wind is normal in Xinju, but my face was just all dust. 
I washed my face and was surprised with the saltiness on the lips. Had I been sweating this much? Well, no. Sea water was blown all over the place. The parking lot was only a few hundred meters from the beach, which means I was here collecting salt with the M3. I'm gonna look for a new place for filming next time.